hey guys and uh, today we are going to solve this problem dice combinations from ccs problem set in this problem we are given a sum n and we are asked the number of ways in which we can form this by throwing a dice one or multiple times each of the dice throw produces an outcome between 1 and 6 in the given example n is equal to 3 there are four ways 1 plus 1 plus 1 1 plus 2 2 plus 1 and 3 so as you can see 1 plus 2 and 2 plus 1 are considered separate and now we are asked to find out the number of ways in which we can do this modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 which means that the number of ways can be very big if we liquidate the constant then n is up to 10 to the power 6 okay so let's see how we can solve this so this is a problem of dynamic programming right it is in the section only it's given in the section this is the first problem of dynamic programming so dynamic programming is essentially recursion plus memoization so basically you find out a recursive solution and memoization is basically the process of storing the results that you are computing during the recursion else you can use iterative dp right else you can use iterative dp in which you evaluate the states in their correct order using for loops this is actually better right this is actually more uh, optimized this actually works faster but the time complexity is roughly the same right now uh, for this problem let's think how we can solve this so uh, let's do a definition definition so i am going to say f of x is going to give me the number of ways to form x right f of x is going to give me the number of ways to form x as my sum right now this is the definition or the state of the dp right state essentially means the parameters so this is the most important part for a dp problem now comes the transition so how it is depending upon smaller sub problems so in this problem for a given sum x i know that uh, i can either pick x minus 1 or x minus 2 or x minus 3 x minus 4 and so on up to x minus 6 right so essentially i can say f of x is the sum of f of x minus i where i ranges from 1 to 6 okay now uh, let's think of a base case because every recursive solution is going to have a base case right so how can we find the base case it is the case where the transition fails let's say in our x i put the value like let's just say that the value of our x is 6 right let's say x is equals to 6 and i is also equal to 6 then 6 minus 6 is what 0 then i am required to find out the number of ways i can form of sum of 0 so what is the number of ways in which i can form a sum of 0 it's 1 that is don't roll the dice right don't roll dice similarly if let's say the given sum was If x was something like four, and uh, after rolling the current dice, I got a value of six. Then I'm looking for f of minus two, right? Then can I actually ever get a negative sum? No, because the dices are numbered from one to six, right? So that is not possible. So f of anything negative is going to be zero. Okay. So. Uh, now that's that's done let's just check if it's the correct answer by plugging in the input so in our final answer let's just say f of instead of x we are replacing it with n so now what does f of n give it gives the number of ways to form x using dice rolls right so this is actually correct and this is the desired output right so our recursive solution is actually correct now to make it work fast we need to use something called as memoization okay we need to use something called as memoization in which we basically store the values while computing like we store 
values during recursion store values during recursion yeah cool and yeah that's pretty much it that is the recursive plus memoi solution now if we are talking about the iterative solution so iterative solution then i can see that f of x depends upon f of x minus 1 plus f of x minus 2 and so on up to f of x minus 6 so i can say that for evaluating a state x i should have calculated up to x minus 6 beforehand right so here what i can use is i can just use a for loop from 1 up to n now what are the number of uh, dice dice rolls that i can get that's from 1 to 6 so i can say if like if i am looking for a sum of i and after getting the dice j after getting the dice roll j my target sum is still more than or equal to 0 then i can say that dp of i is actually going to be sum of um it is actually going to be sum of dp of i minus j right in this by using this check i am also um making sure of this negative thing that it actually never occurs right now uh, if i am at some value like uh, let's say i equals to 1 and j equals to 1 so 1 minus 1 is what 0 so dp of 0 should give me 1 right you can see over here i am starting the values from 1 right because that's what's given in the question n starts from 1 so we need to have a base case and the base case for us is dp of 0 is equals to 1 what's dp dp is essentially a vector right some kind of an array some kind of a container where you just store the results okay so that was pretty much it now let's just see the coding part so here i have written the code so you can see over here that uh, we have taken input uh, and then there is this uh, vector which is the dp vector this is the iterative solution where we are marking dp of 0 as 1 and from we are iterating over i from 1 to n and for every dice roll i am checking if this is greater than 0 then the answer is going to be dp of i plus dp of i minus j whole mod and over here at top i can we can see that this is the recursive plus memoi solution for this i just need to mark all the values in my dp array as minus 1 Why minus one? I need to mark it with some value that can never occur as my answer. So I know that number of ways can never be negative one, right? It can, at the worst, be zero, right? So all that's done over here is if dp of n is not equal to minus one, that is, if I have uh, like never calculated it, like if I have calculated it, only then dp of n is going to be changed, right? Then I am just going to return this. Else I am just going to calculate it, and while calculating. i will just change the value and assign it right so if we just run this um i'll firstly run the list one so function of n comma a right i'm sorry dp i'm just going to comment this things out and we should get an output of 4 for 3 which is fine and now i am going to just write the iterative one so over here also we get the output of 4 right so if we just submit this let's see what we get so we get an accepted verdict this means it's correct so that was the solution 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग